Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be filming the nine pocket uh, page bias challenge originally brought to you by Golden JJK here on YouTube and Instagram. I've been having so much fun watching others take part in this challenge and seeing what fun nine pocket pages they come up with for their biases. And I thought what better way to celebrate Hobie's birthday than by taking part in this challenge considering Hobie is my bias. I do also want to thank McKinley or BTS Yoon Hope 13 um, for encouraging me to take part in this challenge. Um, I know she's doing it as well. I haven't yet seen it, but I can't wait to see what fun Hobie page she comes up with. So please go check hers out as well. Um, and before we get started, I do want to say um, happy birthday, Hobie. It is Hobie's birthday today. Um, you know, I'm so proud of you and everything that you and BTS has accomplished over the past year. And I can't wait to see what else is yet to come. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so starting off with Korean albums here. Let's see what we have to work with. I am going to go ahead and pull out this um, Her E card. I do love this. I don't know. It's just something about the smile and the hair is just so cute. So I'm going to set this one off to the side. Um, I'm going to try to not be... <laughs> too overly picky because I do want some options, but let's see. <laughs> this may be kind of surprising, but I am obsessed with this card. So, yep, we are pulling this one out too. I think I'm going to have to pull out this um, butter, what is this, the peaches version. At first, I was kind of disappointed that it was like a cl eyes closed picture, but that disappointment quickly went away and it became one of my favorite cards. I mean, just look at this cute blonde beach boy here. So cute. And I am going to pull out my butterful night a hobie i mean this was just iconic it's really too bad that we didn't get um any other cards or photos from this shoot but i mean the hair the platinum blonde the styling it's just everything so yeah he's coming out too um. A lot of this isn't going to be nine pocket for a little bit until I think we get to, yeah, Japan, Japan stuff here. I think this is a given, a given for most um, Ahobi collectors. I mean, this is just iconic. Again, kind of no nine pockets till we get back to the DVDs. So here, so I think on this page, um, I don't know, there's really something about this card. I don't know if it'll make it to the final cut, but there just is something about it. So we're pulling him aside for now and also, Europe DVD. I mean, this fake love card, this fake love fit card is just everything. And on this page, I really do love all of these cards, but how can we not pull out Ego Hobie? So, Ego Hobie coming out for now. We'll see. I already do have quite the stack, so let's see. And then, yeah. All right. Then on the muster and fan meeting page, 
Yes. Fifth fan meeting, Hobie. And memories. We can't pass this one up. <laughs> He's coming out. Yep. And I think that that might be it for this first binder. So not too bad. <laughs> Maybe, depending. So far we have one, two, ten. So ten. So technically could already make a nine pocket just out of these, but we still have some room to work with. So let's move on to the next one. All right, next is my tour and muster binder. This one will probably be a little bit faster because there really aren't as many nine pocket page items in here, but we do have a few. I do love this set, but I don't think I'm gonna be pulling anything out from this one or this one either really. Wings. And then we get to a lot of things that just aren't nine pockets, so we can skip quite a few until we get here. This is really some of the only other nine pocket items for tour. I don't think I'm gonna be grabbing anything from here. And then we get into a muster. So I do think that I'm gonna grab this, the first muster Whoppin card. I don't think that this was in my last um, binder flip through. I got it right at the beginning of the new year, finally. But I am going to pull him out. And uh, this one as well. This 22920 Hobie with the glasses and the beanie and the finger heart is just so cute. I don't really want to do too many of these horizontal ones, but yeah, this one is just too cute. And I really do like this set. I think that that is kind of an, un un eh, an unpopular opinion. I don't think any of these are going to make the cut, but I do like it as a set. Then we're not going to have any for a little bit. Yeah, all that should be really left in here is are these, but most of these are group anyway, and that's it. So that's it for the tour and musters. We were able to pull two more cards out of that. So so that brings us to, what is it, 12? 12 cards now. All right, and last but not least, we have uh, my third binder, which is going to be things like seasonal, miscellaneous, collab, things like that. So this first page is going to be some nine pocket items. All right, I do love this card so much, this Festa. 2021 Festa. Yeah. Okay, and then um, yeah, no. My next nine pocket items in here. Probably not going to be until, yeah, these magazine type cards here. And then collab. Those are going to be some of the last ones. Hmm. Okay. I think that I have to pull this one out. The... 2015 I believe Puma event I mean look at this little cozy reindeer <laughs> red nose reindeer Hobie it's just so cute a 
Okay, and this one for some reason is just, yeah, the hair, the reddish, the reddish hair, just like the finger bite, the cocked eyebrow, it's just, there's a lot going on here. And really that's going to take care of it yep yeah, for all these binders so right now we have one two three six seven nine ten eleven twelve fifteen fifteen cards so that's not too bad um, I think I am gonna go through my album cards one last time just to make sure we didn't miss anything um, because I was kind of being a little bit picky but I want to make sure we don't leave anything behind so yeah one second okay so I went back through my album slash DVD binder and was able to pull out six more cards so you know just to give to give options um, and yeah, so I did go ahead and pull out this Memories of 2019 DVD card. I just think he looks so cute. This, you know, the, um, sorry about the glare, the Persona shoot with the rose, I just think are so cute. And I am actually a big fan of these kind of cards as well, where I guess this isn't really like so much of a concept card per se, but it's also not a selfie card. Um, yeah, I, I am a fan of those things sometimes as well. Um, how can we, how can we uh, not pick little dinosaur Hobie? Um, what is this, fourth muster? So yeah, pulled him out. Um, again, kind of along the same lines. I do really like some of these more uh, in action concert type um, shoots for PCs. We couldn't leave Kayonenka behind, so I went and pulled him out. I mean, just look at this little sad emo boy, wet hair to Hobie. It's just everything, so we'll add him to the stack. We have, and then the last ones are um, a couple album cards that I just wanted to put back in for options. We have You Never Walk Alone, a classic. I do really like, I like the B, the B um, album cards a lot. So I did pull out this B and Map of the Soul 7, The Journey. So yeah, I think what that brings us now to six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 21 21 so yeah we have to cut this down quite a bit so I guess let's get started okay so these really sloppy piles are what we have to kind of go with at the beginning so I think what we need to do is just pick out some of the cards that we know are going to make the cut and for me right now, I know this one, this one for sure. So we're going to put him off to the side and okay, these are kind of the same. We got the dimple poke, the classic Hobie dimple poke going on. But I think out of the two of these, I like this one a little bit more. So this one is gonna go to the no pile. What else can we get rid of here? Should we make any cuts here? I don't know. I love all of these cards so, so much. 
This one's a double or like, um, yeah, double sided. So you kind of get a two for one. So we're going to leave him. And I don't know, there's just something about this card that I love. I don't know if it's just like the like little chubby cheek action going on with the hair almost in front of the eye. I don't know, but I just, yeah. Hmm. I think these are going to stay in the maybes for now. I think this one really does have to go to the yes. It's just this fit. We got the dimple poke, the kissy face, the glasses. This is just one of the best cards of all time, in my opinion. And yeah, he's going to go to the yes. So right now we have three for definite yes. And just so we can get it over with, we're going to put Butterful Hobie in our yes pile. So that's four. So we have five more. <sighs> Should we make any cuts on this? I don't know. I might wait till last to do the horizontal cards just because, I mean, I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter, but, and, I, and I'm not really making the nine pocket to look cohesive it's just my favorite cards so might, we might wait on those I think this this fake love um, love yourself Europe blu-ray is going to go to the yes pile I don't think I can make a decision on dinosaur Hobie yet so what do we have hmm I think just because we do have a dimple poke card already, I am going to get rid of this Map of the Soul 7, The Journey. So five, four more, four more. Hmm. Four out of all of these. I guess as much as I hate to do it, I am going to get rid of this one. Um, you never walk alone. I do already kind of have a beachy and a kissy face one. So I don't know if that's really grounds to get rid of it, but we have to make cuts somewhere. So I'm going to get rid of that one. This is really, really difficult at this point. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to get rid of the Sessy Magazine card. I really, I like it a lot. It's just, I think we have other options. I think this one might have to go to the yes, the first muster wop in. There's just something about this eyeliner boy. <laughs> this little baby. If I can get it to focus, please. Old style, and most of mine right now are a little bit newer era, so I'm gonna pull this one aside. Six, so three more, three more. <sighs> I know it's a horizontal card, but there's just something about this concept, the room concept from B that I really, really loved. His pink robe, the pink inflatable couch, the blue background, this stretchy, sleepy boy pose <laughs> that I just am absolutely obsessed with. So this might be a surprise, but I think this one is going to the yes pile. So we have seven, seven, two more, two more out of all of these beauties. This is getting really hard. And I know that I just said that, you know, I do like concepts and stuff over, um, not over, but you know, as an option sometimes instead of just selfie cards, but 
I think I may get rid of these three as well. Just because we have so many other strong options here that, I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm gonna pick this one there's just something about well first of all her era and just this card I am very very partial to the reddish orangey hair on Hobie so this kind of like reddish brown color the simple styling just the fresh look I'm just in love with this card so <sighs> yeah that gives us one more, I think, right? This one could obviously be a strong contender considering, I mean, this look is just everything and it is double-sided, but, you know, I think we already have kind of like a glasses look going on with the Festa card. So as much as I hate to do it, I think I'm going to pull this one out. Kind of, I guess, same vibe with this one. Although I do really like this cozy sweater beanie with the finger heart. I don't know. We have to do it. So down to these last four strong contenders. <sighs> these are both kind of, you know, obviously the, the peace sign, but there's just something about this guard. Yeah, it's gonna be this one. The hair, the earring, the leather jacket. Yeah. All right. So we did it. We have nine Hobie cards here. So let's get it into our nine pocket, shall we? Now, obviously the point of this isn't necessarily to make the page look aesthetic because I mean, with all these different concepts and backs, it's just not really going to, but let's see what we have to work with here. So these are kind of similar, you know, just darker, darker type vibes. These kind of give me the same feel a little bit. And then these. So what can we kind of work with in terms of the page setup? Hmm. <laughs> I only have that one horizontal card, so maybe we just put that in the middle or off to the side. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. What are the backs kind of looking like? These, I guess these three can kind of go together. Something like that. Do we like that? I think I like that. All right, so here we have it. All right, hello. Um, it is a few hours later and I am back. It is now dark outside, so I apologize if the lighting was bad before. It's even worse now, but as I was editing this video, I realized I made a fatal flaw and this is not acceptable. Um, I realized that when I was going through my binders, I skipped over an important page that has these two babies on it my 
Japan Fan Club Hearts and Stars Hollow PCs. Um, yeah, I can't really forgive myself. This should be a crime against humanity that these cards were left out of the initial pick. But we got here. We are here now. So I just want to say that these two should never have been left out of the original pick, and we are here to remedy that situation. So I pulled them both out because they are both super gorgeous. Look at these hollow patterns here. I think although I do prefer the star hollow pattern just a tad more, um, I'm actually going to go with the heart hollow here. I do prefer this outfit, the pose, the whole look, and thus this card just a hair more. So we are going to add Mr. Heart Hollow Hobie to the nine pocket. But that does mean that now we are left with the decision to change one of these cards here. So as much as I hate to do it, because I did talk a big game about this card, I think we're going to be getting rid of Mr. B Essential Stretchy Sleepy Boy Hobie. Um, I love this card so much, and I will take that opinion to my grave. But I think we do have to make room for our heart hollow hobie right here in the center so there we have it um it took two tries but we have our final nine pocket page here we have love yourself her e butterful day night hobie butter peaches Love Yourself Europe Blu-ray, Japan Fan Club Renewal, um, Heart Hollow, Fake Love Airplane Part 2, Fan Meeting Volume 5, First Muster Wappen PC, and 2021 Festa Obi. So yeah, that concludes my nine pocket bias challenge for Hobie. And I do want to say once again, a happy birthday, Hobie. I hope it's a great one. Um, you know, surrounded by friends, family, and loved ones. I'm so proud of you and everything that you've accomplished this past year. And I look forward to what the year holds for you and BTS in 2022. All right. Goodbye.